Coming up, we'll tell you what we know about a fire in a convenience store parking lot in Volga. And South Dakota authorities arrest a suspect in connection with an attempted robbery in Rowena. How people in the small town stopped the holdup from taking place. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We'll get to those stories in just a bit, but for now, let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. All right, good morning, everybody. We are looking at a warm week this week. Temperatures probably hitting the 70s and 80s for afternoon highs. We're starting with a little bit of a southerly breeze in eastern and southeastern Kelloland, and the winds will stay with us as we do go through the day. And we'll go with numbers in the 70s and 80s, not only for the week, but into the weekend. Little chance for rain. Best bet to get wet may end up being next week. We'll have more details on the Kelloland Live Doppler forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. Thanks a lot, Scott. We are getting a look at a fire that flared up in Volga, South Dakota yesterday afternoon. Check out this video a viewer was able to capture of the fire. In a post on Facebook, the viewer says shortly after 2 o'clock, he saw an asphalt paving machine engulfed in flames in the Valley Market parking lot in Volga. In the video, you can see the fire spread to a nearby pickup. The viewer says a nearby semi also received damage. Firefighters in Jewell County were kept busy with a brush fire yesterday. In a post on its Facebook page, the Jewell County Sheriff's Office says crews responded to a brush fire near a state campground around 11.30 yesterday morning. The Sheriff's Office also posted these pictures of the fire. Crews were able to put the fire out in an hour and a half. No one was hurt. The post also says crews with the Gary Fire Department and Clear Lake Fire Department responded to the scene. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue was called to an early morning fire yesterday in the 3800 block of East 12th Street in the city. When crews arrived, they reported smoke was coming from the lower level of the home. Upon further investigation, flames were seen coming from the area. According to Fire Rescue, crews were able to get the fire under control within 10 minutes. While there were no occupants inside, a search of the home was able to find a pet cat who was brought out safely. The home sustained fire damage to the basement and smoke damage throughout. No injuries were reported. The fire is under investigation. If you're preparing breakfast in the kitchen this morning, South Dakota's fire marshal wants you to be careful and aware of the dangers. Sunday marked the first day of Fire Prevention Week, and this year's theme is Serve Up Fire Safety in the Kitchen. The fire marshal says cooking is the number one cause of home fires and home fire-related injuries. Fire departments across Kelloland are urging families to make sure they have a plan on how to get out safely of homes during a fire and make sure they have working smoke alarms on every floor. We're learning more about a crash in eastern Sioux Falls last night. Sioux Falls police responded to the intersection of 26th Street and Cleveland Avenue for reports of a crash. A sergeant with Sioux Falls police tells us that one vehicle ran a red light and struck a second vehicle. The second vehicle rolled. The people in the first vehicle were not hurt. Two people in the second vehicle were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A 66-year-old man has died following a crash between a train and a semi-truck in Brown County. It happened Friday afternoon, seven miles west of Aberdeen. The Highway Patrol says the truck hauling soybeans drove across a railroad crossing and crashed into the train. The truck driver went to an Aberdeen hospital where he died from his injuries. People inside a Rowena, South Dakota business foiled a suspect who allegedly tried to rob the business. Minnehaha County Sheriff's deputies, along with Sioux Falls Police and the South Dakota Highway Patrol, responded to the scene southeast of Sioux Falls late Saturday afternoon. Investigators say the people inside had been able to detain the suspect. They left the business and turned the suspect over to law enforcement. No one was hurt. The suspect is charged with first-degree attempted robbery. South Dakota lakes were a popular destination over the summer, but with more people comes more trash. To help keep areas along rivers and lakes clean, groups can volunteer through the Adopt-A-Lake program. You know, thank goodness we've got folks that uh, are interested in keeping those areas clean. And, of course, the, um, the thing we're hearing from landowners, especially on some of those non-meandered waters, is that, uh, you know, they're happy to have people out there and they enjoy seeing the public utilize some of those areas. But the condition is that, you know, they keep, keep it relatively clean and pick up after themselves. Anyone can volunteer. Dakota Trout Unlimited hosted a cleanup at Lake Vermilion on Saturday. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. All right, my old day today, a little windy though. That uh, 4 o'clock wind map shows prevalent northwest winds across South Dakota from Aberdeen to Rapid City. Some of these gusts will be near 40. I do think Sioux Falls will swing around to the west-northwest, and then it'll pick up late in the day here. But we've had the, a start here this morning of south winds that have been a little breezy. Now, as we look ahead on the forecast, warm air is dictating things here coming in from the northwest. Now it looks like 
really for several days. We've got temperatures today at 78 in Sioux Falls, 73 Rapid City, and the seven-day forecast. Well, I'll let the numbers speak for themselves here as we look at 70s and 80s all the way through day number seven. Overnight lows in the mid-40s and to mid-50s. And it's dry. It doesn't look like much rain chance anytime soon. Aberdeen in the northeast, 80 degrees for tomorrow, 70 on Wednesday. Just a bit cooler. And then we're back up in the 80s by Friday. And Pier, we expect a similar trend. There is just a slight chance of rain by Sunday. And that is the first indicator of a couple things that may change next week. We'll have plenty of time to look at that. So enjoy the warm weather while it sticks around. More details online right here at Kevoland.com. Have yourself a great day.